Hi guys, it is Dr. Cody Dukes and we are back again for yet another video. Now you already know what to do. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead, like this video, and if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Now today guys, you already know what time it is. It's Fit Friday, and you know what we do on Fit Fridays. We do more fitness-related content, more health-related content, where I give you guys tips and tricks on things that I've done to help me get more fit and to get more healthy that might also work for you. And today is no different. Today I want to talk about Toph, a character from the popular uh, Nickelodeon cartoon series that some people would argue is closer to an anime than a cartoon called Avatar. The Last Airbender. Now this story follows a group of friends who basically are trying to save the world from the evil Fire Nation by uh, bringing back the Avatar to a full you know, state of power, being able to bend all four elements. Now the character Toph is a unique character as she uh, is the greatest earthbender in the world. But she's also blind. And when we first meet Toph, She's uh, living with her parents uh, and her parents think that she's a helpless little girl, right? Because she's blind and she's never been able to see. And so in her father's mind, especially, he's she's our little tough and we have to protect her. And so uh, it turns out, though, that she sneaks out at night and goes into fight clubs, basically. And she's the champion, right? And she defeats the likes of the boulder, which is a play on the, the rock. Uh, but... Um, uh, near the end of the episode when they first meet Toph, um, the Avatar team is about to get jumped, basically. And uh, Toph and her family are about to leave. And, and, and uh, the Avatar team's like, hey, Toph, help us. We need you. <laughs> we need you. And her father's like, this is my little girl. She can't fight. <laughs> what are they talking about? And when Toph hears this, Toph turns around and she says no that's not true and, and she goes in and she proceeds to like just demolish all of the bad guys and it's like the guy who the father pays to like basically train Toph uh, he looks at her he says sir your daughter's an earth bending master <laughs> she's a genius whatever uh, but the reason I was I wanted to talk about this today is because you know a lot of times when we're working out I noticed for me um, especially when I'm doing things that I've never done before, things that are really hard, right? Um, especially as of late, I've been doing a lot of things that are really hard. It's like your body gets this, it's like this one thought that comes that says, I can't do this. Like this, is, my body is not, it's not built for this. This is, I'm, I can't do this. I, I'm not strong enough for this, right? And And what I found is that for many of us, what our thoughts about what we can actually do is often far less than what we're actually capable of right we tend to give in before our bodies do because in our mind we've already determined that we can't do it but there has to be that other part of us that says no i'm going to do it regardless of how I, I i what i think about my ability to do it because I really can do it. Like we have to have that part of tough in us where when the, the part of us that's like her dad that says, we, we can't do this. We're too fragile. We're too weak. There has to be this part of us that says, no, I'm, I'm not fragile. You may think I'm fragile, but I'm capable of far more than you ever thought. In fact, I'm the strongest earthbender that you've ever met and you just don't know it. And a lot of times our bodies are so much stronger than we know because we've never given them a chance to show us. We always, you know, lift the weight we're comfortable with. We do the exercises and the workouts and the training programs that we're comfortable with. But it's not until you challenge your body and put your body through some stresses that challenge it in a way it hadn't been challenged before or to an intensity that it hadn't been challenged before. It's not until then that you realize, wow, my body's actually a workout genius. <laughs> A, a training master it's built for this so challenge your body put it to the test don't hurt yourself be safe but understand that what you think your body can do a lot of times it can do more and it can go farther than what you think it can that's the video guys 
If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and like this video. And if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I upload five videos a week. That is one every single weekday. I do inspirational and motivational content with a pop culture twist. I look at everything from sports, movies, cartoons, anime, superheroes, game shows, you name it. I just try to find a motivational message that I can deliver to you in a way that's easy to understand so that you can take it and use it in your daily life so that you can be the best version of yourself. And if that sounds like what you're trying to do, then you should definitely subscribe because this is the channel for you. Guys, how did I do? Let me know down in the comments. Give me tips and feedback on how I can get better. Give me suggestions of topics I should cover in the future. I'll do my best to go through every single comment and get back to every single one of you guys. Guys, I thank you for sticking around this long and I appreciate all the support. And the only thing I ask is that you keep coming back because I'll keep coming back with more videos just like this one. And as I always say, guys, until next time.